Hi everyone, John Davenport here from Fulgaropoly.com with another Let's Edit video. Before we dive into this week's edit, I want to take a moment and uh, just briefly announce that premium memberships will be coming to Fulgaropathy in September. Um, some of the key features, you're going to be able to download the raw files that I use in the videos. You're going to be able to have access to a private forum area which will have all sorts of different content including the ability to um, upload your own raw files and then I'll pick some, you know, maybe like two or three a month and I'll make a separate video editing your raw file and then I'll share it to the rest of the group in that forum area. It won't be shared on YouTube um, anywhere else. It'll be a private YouTube video um, only for your viewing and the other uh, members of the premium site area. So, um, you know, there's some cool stuff happening. I'm very excited to bring it to you. It's going to be $10 a month or $96 a year, depending on how you want to pay, which I think is very affordable. And I'm very excited to bring it to you to get all the information about it and join the wait list. Um, just click this link below and uh, I'll see you on the site, hopefully. So let's get into this this week's edit here. It's just this waterfall shot that I took. Um, it might have been almost two years ago now. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is we're just going to clean it up a little bit and then I'm going to jump into the tone curve and uh, kind of explain what that is with this video. So um, something I want to do first, I, I want to see this area here which is kind of uh, blown out a little bit. So I'm going to take my adjustment brush tool here and I'm going to paint in and then I'm going to drop the highlights down and try and blend that back in a little bit there. So you can see that blends in nicely now. Um, maybe right in there as well. Uh, something like that. That way we'll have a little bit easier time and I'm actually going to come up here as well and just kind of clean up the uh, trees here and the sky in the background. Uh, so just something like that. Uh, very quick uh, clean up job there. Now I'm just going to drop the overall exposure, add a little bit of contrast, increase that shadow detail, drop the overall highlights a little more, maybe bring the exposure down some contrast there, add a little bit of clarity. So here, you know, we already have a pretty good edit now. We fixed that uh, blown out highlight and we've added a little punch. But the tone curve, you know, it's something that I don't do very often myself, but it is powerful. So we'll jump into that now and kind of explain what you can do with it. Uh, so the tone curve affects these four areas of it's basically areas of light in your photograph you have your shadows your darks you have your lights and your highlights and that's going from left to right in the graph um, and there are different regions of light levels um, so you can affect these in different ways and uh, the easiest way or the most intuitive way for me is probably the sliders because that's what I'm so used to. So if you watch here, if I drop the highlight slider, you'll see the highlights will start to dim to almost be completely dull and we don't want that. So I'm just gonna double click on those. I'm actually gonna bring the highlights up a little bit and really get that water uh, to have some punch. Now the lights are kind of the high end of your midtones, um, so again, you know, you can drop those down, and that's what I'm going to do here, just a little bit. Um, your darks are the low end of your midtones, so I'm going to um, raise those up just a little bit, and your shadows are as you would expect your shadows, so those are the darkest parts of your photo. I'm going to again raise those up a little bit. So. You know, that's all fine and dandy, right? But uh, there's other stuff that you can do here. So say you don't know the difference between your lights and your darks, or your shadows and your highlights, or your shadows and your darks, or your lights and your highlights. You don't know what's what. Uh, but you do know that you want uh, to add a little more brightness to the waterfall. So you grab this little point tool here, 
and then you come over to your photo and you find an area that you want to make say you want to make it brighter so you, you know this area here I, I think maybe it's a little too dark so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just click and then move my mouse up and what that does is it takes everything that's in this range so it's not just that point but it's everything that's in that same uh, tonal range and it'll increase that tone so again if I come over here to say this dark rock here in the background and I want to make those a little brighter I click and I drag up and you can see all the shadows will start to get increased now if I want to bring the highlights down again I can click and drag down and that does the same thing there so it's kind of a cool way of editing it's a very um, different way of uh, you know changing the light levels of your photos and I, I thought it was something interesting to share with everyone uh, you can also take your curve here and you can uh, you know drag the curve around however you want um, dragging in different areas and the last thing I want to show you is that there's these three little buttons here sliders on the uh, bottom of this curve and what that does is it basically controls where the four regions kind of blend into each other so say you want your shadows to have more of an effect you would uh, slide that to the right and then anything that you applied to the shadows slider of your photo would have more of an effect in your midtones and if you slide it all the way to the right it would have more of an effect even in your highlight area and again if you slide similarly if you slide to the left your highlight slider it, your highlights would then have more of an effect and you can get all these different looks uh, just by moving your tone curve slider around so it's a lot of fun to play around with um, there's a lot to do uh, with a lot more to learn about it than uh, what I've gone over here uh, but uh, I think this is kind of a very basic overview and I hope you learned something I would love to know if you play around with the tone slider yourself uh, in the comments below uh, let me know so I will see you again soon please don't forget to share and subscribe have a great one bye for now